Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to do a uh, response to this video uploaded by the elder brother Karataza. GMS Vegas sit downs 144K. Subscribe and be edified. All right. The word Karataza in the Hebrew means to be diligent. All right. And this uh, brother doesn't miss a beat. All right. Um, IUIC still doubles down on teaching it's okay to have sex on the Sabbath. Now, I'm not going to play his video. All right. You're going to need to go to his video so that you can hear. Um, the talking points of the IUIC, you know, um, which they teach that sex on the Sabbath is okay because they're bound to a permanent Friday to Saturday sundown Sabbath, which is not scriptural. You can't find Friday or Saturday, all right, in the Bible, all right, and we uh, do lessons on that, which the scriptures teach. You know, judge no man and eat a drink or a respect of a holy day. All right. But these men are teaching a very, very deceptive and wicked doctrine. OK, when you keep it, you know, um, that's up to you. We brought out the truth of the matter. We gave understanding of the new moon. All right. And how it's tied. All right. To the monthly Sabbath. All right. Um, so the truth is out there. All right. Um, it's between you and ultimately how about Shemiah Shah at this point. Now, the uh, topic of sex on the Sabbath. All right. is different because we are called to keep the Sabbath day holy. All right. And it's not that sex itself is a sin. All right. But it makes you unclean, unholy, which will show you uh, in the scriptures. Now, again, you're going to need to. Uh, tap into this brother's page all right which this is a good page if you lack topics which you should always have topics with everything going on in the world but you could always go to this brother's page and he'll give you something to respond to all right him uh the uh elder brother karata zaba <laughs> another diligent brother from the uh baltimore camp uh bible holy bible defenders he has a bunch of pages um you could always go to those brothers pages okay and just do responses to those videos um but the topic of sex on the sabbath um i'm not going to play it um when you go to the book of isaiah the 58th chapter okay the uh wording is this isaiah 58 and 13 now remember this is a group that teaches our people pretty much the law the law the law all right, they're hardcore in the law. All right, but when it comes to the MOTB, which taking that would be breaking the law. All right, and stuff like this. All right, they're 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 for some reason, you know, uh, teaching you to sow to the flesh and to not worry about these things that are very important. All right, because this is a thing of discipline. All right, again, sex isn't wicked; it isn't a sin. All right, but it makes you holy. Now, the Sabbath was made to be separate from all of the rest of the days okay as a matter of fact in the uh, apocrypha okay uh it gives you that uh i think sirach the 43rd chapter some of them have he hollowed let's get that real quick some of them have he hollowed sirach 33 and let's get nine all right this is sirach 33 and eight by the knowledge of the lord all right i start at seven why doth one day excel another when as all the light of every day is in the year of the sun by the knowledge of the lord they were distinguished and he altered the seasons and feast and our our feasts are dedicated and predicated upon the new moon okay it says and then you count particular days from the new moon all right, to get, you know, your Sabbath or instructions on the Passover and stuff like that on the 10th day, 
of the first month, you know, you start preparing the lamb. All right, we didn't have no set calendar we would go to to say this is day one, uh, Monday, Tuesday, when we didn't have that, all right? In the wilderness, it was the moon, all right? How we knew what day it was, okay? When it's a full moon, you know, it's the middle, it's the, it's the middle of a month, all right? When, it, when, it, when you can barely see it, you know, it's the day one, all right? Or you see nothing, that's day one of a month, okay? This is how we, as Hebrew Israelites, got down, all right? And we're coming back into that ancient way, but you have particular camps, that want to tie this world, okay, to the uh, gospel to make it a world-friendly doctrine. Anyway, it says, some of them have he made high days and hollowed them. Hollows means to what? Set apart. Hollow and holy are synonymous. All right? So some days have he made high days and hollowed them. Some of them have he made ordinary days. So the question is, what separates, okay, the Sabbath day? from a regular ordinary day all right if you can just have sex all right and do what the hell you want to do all right according to your own pleasure now the argument that the iuic is making all right as you read here isaiah 58 and sakari makes this argument and uh i don't i believe isupk teaches the same thing okay isaiah 58 and 13 if thou turn away thy foot from keep from the sabbath all right, if I turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day. All right, now when you look up this word pleasure, what the IUIC is saying, when you look at that video, the word pleasure is chapataza, chapataza. Delight, pleasure, delight, longing, good pleasure, that in which one takes delight. So as you go into how this word is used, all right, which is not the same word here, but if you just type in pleasure, all right? All right, here in Genesis 18 and 12, therefore Sarah laughed within herself saying, after I am wax old, shall I have pleasure? My Lord being old also. So basically this is going into how we're gonna have sex. You know, I'm 90 something years old, I'm an old woman. So sex, IUIC, established here can be synonymous with pleasure you see but what iuic does in a very deceptive way all right is they go here to deuteronomy 23 and 24 right which this word pleasure here as a matter of fact let's see what that word is because sex is tied to pleasure let me show you what they're going to do all right this is a different word all right pleasure i done luxury Finery, delight, go to the root word, luxury, delight oneself, all right? And uh, sex is a is definitely a uh, pleasure, right? Even if it's whack, once you get to the point of climax, it's like, oh my God, <laughs> right? So it says pleasure. So what they do is they go here, Deuteronomy 23 and 24, when thou comest into thy neighbor vineyard, then thou mayest eat the grapes, all right, feel that uh, thy feel all, let me start over, Salakia, when thou comest into thy neighbor's vineyard, then thou mayest eat grapes, thy feel at thy own pleasure. So they're saying, okay, so if sex is a pleasure, which we, we get that, all right, it's not eating grapes and ice cream and food a pleasure as well. All right, and those are pleasures, right? All right, but what scripture do we have, all right, to show that eating food, all right, makes one unclean? There's no scripture on that. Now, if you eat during the Day of Atonement, all right, that can be looked at as a sin, right? But the Sabbath, all right, is a holy day set apart, all right, that thou mayest not do your own pleasure, all right? and keep it holy as a matter of fact okay let's make a let's let's get a qu quick example eating food okay and having sex are two different pleasures in the sense that when you ejaculate according to the scriptures let's get that real quick give me one second here okay Let's get the book of uh, 
Leviticus 15 and 16, all right? Since since this is the law, the law, the law, right? Keep the laws, right? That's that's their stance, all right? If you're not keeping the laws, all right, then you, you can't be saved, all right? Which we don't teach our people that they don't have to keep the laws, all right? We teach, ultimately, you keep the laws to the best of your ability, but this right here is goddamn wicked, what they're doing. Because eating ice cream... Yeah, it's a pleasure, but it's not the same pleasure as sex in a sense of Leviticus 15 and 16 in the NLT. When a man's, all right, emission of semen, sperm, right? Whenever a man has an emission of semen, he must bathe his entire body in water and he will remain ceremonially unclean until the next evening. So you couldn't participate, all right, in particular holy rituals and things until you were cleansed all right any clothing or leather with semen on it must be washed in water it will remain unclean all right and to the evening if a man and a woman have sexual intercourse they must each bathe in water until they remain unclean until the next evening see that so having sex while it's not a sin it makes you unclean. Let's look up the word unclean. Okay. The word unclean. Ta. Tama. To be unclean. All right. Become impure. To become unclean. Sexually. Religiously. Ceremonially. All right. So a high priest. All right. Could not have sex with a woman. And go into the temple, all right, and participate in the holy of holies, uh, 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 changing out the showbread and offering up sacrifices for the people. He couldn't do that. Why? Because he would be ceremonially uh, unclean, which can come from sex. Now, this same word unclean is used in the book. Let's get it of Isaiah. The 56th chapter, this is what we're teaching you. Let's get Isaiah 56. I believe it's that word. If not, we'll go to it and show you what the word is. Salakia. Let's go to uh, Isaiah 56 and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Unholy. Let's just type in unholy. Okay. This is Leviticus 10 and 10, and that ye may put the difference between the holy and, uh, and the unholy and between the clean and the uh, unclean, all right? That's what the priest's job was to do, okay? Now, when you look up this word, unholy, all right? Chalah, all right? Profaneness, commonness, unholy, profane. Now... Let's get the book of Isaiah, the 56th chapter. Okay. All right, we'll read verse two. Blessed is the man that doeth this and the son of man that layeth hold, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Now, the word polluting Okay, is halal, all right, to profane, defile, pollute, all right, profane oneself, defile oneself, pollute, ritually, sexually, all right, so while sex is not a sin, okay, it makes you unclean, all right, to where ritually you cannot partake in holy things, okay, See that? So ice cream and grapes and hoagie sandwiches don't make you unclean if you eat them. They don't make your sheets unclean if a piece of hoagie meat or some ice cream, all right, from the ice cream cone, because they did a video saying, well, if I eat ice cream, ain't that pleasure? Eating grapes is pleasure. Well, if the grape juice or the ice cream 
uh, uh, falls on the sheets. That doesn't make the sheet unclean. But guess what? What what does? The semen, which is associated with sex, that makes you all right unholy, all right ritually. Okay. So ultimately, what are we called to do? Keep the Sabbath day holy. Okay. Exodus 20 and, and 8. Remember, keep the Sabbath day holy. Okay? Set apart. The word holy, chadash. Okay? To consecrate, to sanctify, prepare, to be hallowed, to be holy. So what sets the Sabbath day apart from the rest of the days if you can have sex on it? What, 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 what exactly can't you do that you could do on a regular day all right now let's type in showbread because i want to give you an example of this in the scriptures and then we'll get out of here okay the showbread all right which was associated with the temple and the holy of holies and so forth all right let's go to uh exodus uh 25 and thou show set upon the table showbread before me always this was a custom that the priests were to do within the tabernacle okay now let's look up showbread all right let's look up showbread lacham bread food all right bread corn all right you go to the root word and it goes to this now Let's go to showbread again. Type it in. Show you something. All right. This is um. First Chronicles 9 and 32. All right. Because that showbread was changed out every Sabbath. All right. By the high priest. All right. The high priest would not been, have been able to have sex with a woman and then enter and handle these things. Why? Because sex would have made him, all right, unclean ritually. He could not partic participate in this ritual. First Chronicles 9 and 32. And the other sons, the brethren of the son of the Kohathites, were over the showbread to prepare it every Sabbath. All right, NLT. And some members of the clan of Kohath were in charge of preparing the bread to be set on the table each Sabbath day. So each Sabbath day, all right, the bread was changed out and the sacrifices that were offered were eaten, all right, by the high priest, all right? Now, there's a uh, instance we have of David. Now, pay close attention to what's being said here. All right? And 1 Samuel's 21 and 6, all right? Now we're gonna we're gonna read it closely, okay? As David is running from Saul, First Samuel twenty-one and one, we we'll read it in the NLT. David went to the town of Nob to see Ahilamech, all right, the priest. Ahimelech trembled when he saw him. Why are you alone? He asked. Why is no one with you? All right, because they understood David was on the run from Saul and his men. He's like, bro, what are you doing? You know, if they know I saw you, you know, like, what are you doing? What's up, bro? <laughs> All right. It's a whole history behind it. The king sent me on a private matter. David said he told me not to tell anyone why I'm here. David is using gal. I have I have told my men where to meet me later. All right. He says, now, what is there to eat? All right, because David was hungry, he was buffeted, he was tired, he was on a run. So he goes, he approaches towards the temple, all right, which he wouldn't have even done that had he had sex with a woman. I'm going to show you this. It says, now what therefore, all right, is there? Give me five loaves of bread or anything else you have. He was hungry. The priest replied, we don't have any regular bread, the, the priest replied, but there is holy bread which you can have if your young men 
have not slept with any women recently. Read it in the King James. Now, the, the question is, why wouldn't David have been able to eat that bread or his men? All right. Had they had sex with their women? All right. Because this bread. OK, this this bread is holy. This bread was to be set apart. All right. Not only was the priest taking a chance and giving it to a Judite. All right. Because that bread was only to be eaten by what? The high priest within the temple. OK, but we're showing you something here. And the priest answered David and said, there is no common bread. OK, under my hand, but there is hollowed bread. Hollowed means what? Set apart. Holy. OK. Consecrated. If the young men have kept themselves from at least women. All right. NLT again. We don't have any regular bread. The priest, priest replied. But there is holy bread, which you can have if your young men have not slept with any women recently. OK. Don't worry, David replied. I never allow my men to be all right with women when they are on a campaign. OK, just like boxers stay away from sex when they know they have a fight. All right. The warriors stayed away from their wives. All right. When it was time for a campaign to go war. Right. This is why if, if you were newly wed, if you were newly with your wife, there's a law where you stay back because you're going to have your mind on your wife and all of that. OK, uh, uh, if you were to enter into David's military, you wouldn't fit to be having sex with a woman. All right. And then uh, going out to war with him. All right. But 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 Jake is keeping a law. Right. Anyway, <laughs> I have never allowed my men to. To be with women when they are on a campaign and since they stay clean even on ordinary trips how much more on this one as he was going to the temple to ask of bread all right which they didn't have any uh, 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 common bread they only had holy bread which is the shoe bread okay which was what traded out every sabbath day all right by particular families of the lineage of Aaron, which we just read the Kohathites. All right. At that time in Chronicles. Right. So it says, since there was no other food available, the priest gave him holy bread, the bread of the, the uh, presence. All right. That was placed before the Lord in the tabernacle. It had just been replaced that day with fresh bread. Again, that was a Sabbath day. See? That bread was changed out every Sabbath. Okay, and the, the 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 high priest who offered up sacrifices, okay, would eat of that bread with the meat left over from the sacrifice. All right, which is likened unto a supping with the Lord. Why would not David have been able to eat that bread if he or his men had recently had sex? All right, because having sex would have made them unholy, unclean, polluted. So the Sabbath day is to be kept holy. All right. And what we as Israelites can at least do. All right. Is turn ourselves away from that pleasure on that day. Of course, we know we're not keeping the Sabbath 100 percent correct. We're in Babylon. OK, but there are simply things that you can can refrain from, man. And you're going to need that discipline in the times to come. See? Let's get the scripture. And I would love to see you all do a reply. Why couldn't David eat that bread, Mr. High Priest Alazar? Chief Priest, I mean. Why couldn't he eat that bread? If it's okay to have sex on the Sabbath. That proves, all right, because the high priest and the priest were to set the standard for what the people were to do. They were the example. No priest was going around having sex on the Sabbath. As a matter of fact, what led to the fringes? What led to the fringes? Numbers. The 15th chapter. 
and thirty-two Sabbath breaking punished, Mister Law, Mister We keep the laws, right? And while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath day, right? And they found him, and they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto Moses and Aaron and to all the congregation. All right? And they put him inward because he was not declared what should be done. And the Lord said unto Moses, the man shall surely be put to death because Moses went and what? Uh, had a council with the leadership, the elders, the priests. Give me one second here. All right, verse 35, and Lord and the Lord said unto Moses, all right, because when you hear like, you know, a particular man went and sought of the Lord, that means he went to the priest, okay? And the Lord said unto Moses, the man shall be surely put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. And eventually that led to, look, because you keep going off, all right, put the fringes on, on the border of your garment so when you see them dangling, you can remember to do right. But here it is. This dude was put to death for picking up a stick on the Sabbath. That was his pleasure, right? <laughs> so you're going to tell, tell me you, you, he was stoned. Uh, so if he was popping his wife, that would have been cool. I'm going to end it off here. And again, check out that brother's video because he goes into it. All right, this is Galatians 6 and 8. All right, and this is a thing of, you know, discipline and obedience, man. Being able to hold off from your desires. It's just one day. So again, what separates the Sabbath from the rest of the days if the Sabbath is to be kept holy and hollow and set apart? What sets it apart? Hmm? Galatians 6 and 8. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. In all of these camps, everybody's basing everything upon self-gratification, doing what the hell you want to do, doing what makes you happy, uh, pleasure, having fun, busting nuts. Which again, sex is a beautiful experience. All right? But we just showed you, according to the law, it makes you unclean. Right? So, hey, do what y'all want with that. All right? Hopefully, I'll edify it on to the next. Shalom.